The pixel grid acts as a visual aid when creating pixel art, icons, and performing pixel editing. You can enable it by opening the view menu and choosing Show Pixel Grid, or using the keyboard shortcut Option Command Apostrophe on Mac or Alt Control Apostrophe on Windows. At first, it may look like nothing has happened, but if you zoom in beyond a certain threshold, it becomes visible. Now I can go to the Pixel Persona and select the Pixel tool. I'll choose a colour on the colour panel and then select my Twinkle Pixel layer. This pixel grid helps me to visualise the space and be more precise with my pixel placement. For some parts of my design, the grid may be difficult to see. I can change the settings for the pixel grid by going back to the view menu and opening the grid and axis dialog. Near the bottom of the dialog, I can click on the colour well for the pixel grid lines and choose a colour that's more visible against my design. I can also increase the opacity of the grid lines on the slider. If I wanted to move objects or pixel layers around the canvas, they won't automatically move by whole pixels, meaning that you could have trouble lining objects up with the pixel grid and the result may not look as effective. However, I can enable force pixel alignment and now when I move objects or layers, they move by whole pixels and appear to snap to the pixel grid. This also affects the behaviour of vector objects. If my design was intended to be a cross-stitch pattern, I might want to contain it within a circle to represent an embroidery hoop. If I switch to the designer persona, I can select the ellipse tool and use snapping to find the centre. Then I can hold shift to constrain proportions and then command on Mac or control on Windows to resize around the centre. As I create the vector shape, the lines will move by whole pixels, keeping them in line with the pixel grid. Now I can select my pixel layers and click drag them over my ellipse layer to clip them inside the shape. This helps me to visualise how the design will look on an embroidery hoop. Then I'll use Option, Command and Apostrophe to quickly hide the pixel grid. So that was a quick look at using the pixel grid to help you create pixel art. Thanks for watching.